those who may have a father wound, if you're not finding it in your priest or your bishop or your father, though you should be able to expect it there if you're not, I still think you can find it in God the Father, and that's that's sufficient. Yes. Yeah, God the Father, and um, there's that, that, but that brings up Saint Joseph. Um, yeah, and I think that there's something. It's just like Our Lady. Mm -hmm. um, there's this having a relationship with a human person who's mm -hmm. truly human mm -hmm. is also an. It's just the 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 order that God created. God created mm -hmm. us, male and female. He made He made us to have communion with Him and with each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that Saint Joseph has been raised up providentially in our time, uh, just as God has also raised up the Theotokos in, in a, for a similar reason, because of all sorts of things going on as well against women. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think that St. Joseph brings to us, uh, you know, Pope Francis, I think one of the greatest things he did in his pontificate was to have mm -hmm. the year of St. Joseph. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that St. Joseph, it seems to me that St. Joseph is raised up in our era to uh, provide some devotional uh, support, some devotional healing, um, some transformation of many wounded hearts. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the, I mean, that's, this is the purpose of this conversation, the St. Joseph Dialogos, um, to talk about, at least under the patronage of St. Joseph, to have a real back and forth where we, this is not vitriol, we're actually going to dispute as men and try to get into the issues and all this type of thing. 